prospects in the country, which leaves the Southpaw Winston May, the London champion, with a formidable task because uh, he was beaten in the semi-finals and now he gets a second chance because the man who beat him has been ruled out of these championships. Neville Brown wearing the white singlet and tassels on the boots against this man who gets his second chance from the Fairburn Club in East London, Winston May. And Brown going for a quick win like he had in the semi-finals. He stopped his Welsh opponent at Preston in one minute and 48 seconds. And Winston May will be well aware of that. May wearing blue. Southpaw. Really big uh, test for May this because clearly he had relaxed after the semi-finals and thought, well, that's my lot for this year. And then suddenly discovered he was back in because the man who beat him, Alan Walker, in the Royal Marines from Arbroath has been disqualified from the championships because it said he should have entered the ABA championships through the services and not through the Scottish championships. Brown is a really good prospect. He's only 21. England international. Had a win against Poland this season, one against Ireland. In the England semi-finals at Gloucester, he knocked out his opponent, Billy Neal from Sunderland, in two minutes 59. Then he had that 148 win in the national semi-finals. Brilliant junior. Won every sort of title you can as a junior. And he's got some future. picking up quite a lot of uh, punches here taking them well at the moment but uh, taking rather too many trying to get some work going behind that southpaw lead determined to cut him off whichever way he goes well it's an overwhelming first round for Brown done everything but put the man down but a wicked right hand Brown and it's getting through again and again as we come to the end of this opening round and May's looking a little bit shaky but he survives and this is Neville Brown 21 years old from the Burton Amateur Boxing Club he won two schoolboy titles two ABA junior titles a National Association of Boys Club Championship and uh, also an expert at triple the triple jump he was uh, at one time a finalist in the England schools championships in the triple jump. Second up. Second round. Brown in the white singlet. Very aggressive and threatening at the end of the first round to drop May, but he hasn't done it yet. Tremendous win, Brown, in the match against Ireland. He knocked out Kieran Joyce, who's no mean performer from Ireland, knocked him out with the right hand in the second round. And in fact, Kieran Joyce has just won his fifth Irish title, so that'll give you some idea of his class. And Brown got rid of him in two rounds, which gives you an even better idea of his class.
May is uh, boxing a, a very courageous and clever contest here because he's outgunned. He's keeping his footwork moving. He's using the ring in an attempt to keep out of serious trouble and still trying to put a few punches together. But he was caught there. And Mr. Brown doesn't let, let him off the hook. The going is getting very tough indeed for Winston May. Good right. And again, he's caught, and he'll take a standing count of eight this time. That's the first count. Round two. Well, he's done well, really, May. Brought back into these championships at late notice. And has set a few problems for Brown, but Brown has got the taste of victory now. Brown knows that he's in a contest here, I tell you. Take one or two himself. <laughs> and May's still putting a few punches together. Again, the big right from Brown. Bell coming up. And May still doing a little dance on his feet to uh, prove to everybody that he's totally all right. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Winston May, courageous effort here. Second out. Third and final round. Well, there's no doubt this is turning out to be one of the best contests of the night. Neville Brown in the white singlet, very much the hot favourite here, but being given a tremendous contest by the late substitute, as it were, Winston May, who's already been beaten in the ABA, ABA semi-finals, but gets a second chance because the man who beat him was ruled out for not coming through the correct channels in the championship. And now he's giving Neville Brown, who is certainly one of the best prospects in the country, giving a really good battle. One standing count over May towards the end of the second round. And Brown threatening again with his favourite right hand. Two of them. And still May bobbing and weaving, keeping himself agile, using the ring and counter-punching. Again, the double right from Brown. May totters a little bit, keeps going. And Brown gets told about incorrect punching. Brown has gone south for now. Now he goes back to the box. place to be trapped on the ropes when you've got a man like Brown in front of you but he got away didn't escape that one though tremendous effort by May it really is because he's taken a lot of right hands and he's still trying to use his brains to keep out of further trouble good left this time from Brown Very tired now, May, but gamely, keeping going. Wonderful performance. Another count. Second standing count over May. Well, you've got to hand it to this man. Winston May. Ten seconds to go on our watch.
totters again, mate. Can he hold on to the finish? Yes, he can. Well done, mate. The man who thought he wouldn't see Wembley this year, and in fact, came back into the championships, and he's defied Neville Brown to put him away inside the distance. Brown has won, of course, but he had to work for it. But you're looking at a fine prospect. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, 1987 ABA National Light Middleweight Champion by the unanimous decision, Brown Rickford. And of course, Neville Brown it is, unanimous decision. He was always the favourite to win the title, but maybe he didn't expect quite such a hard final as this man, Winston May, gave him.